This is one mega ride, Darren. It's my first time in a limousine. Is it really? Actually, no, it's not. James gave me a ride in his limo just the other day to thank me for giving him a fun day out. I heard about that. He truly deserved it after having a battle of the wheels over his decision to raise the curfew age to at least 18, accounting for the people who were either in night school, or have jobs that require night shifts. He was starting to question if he was a good leader or not. Why on earth would he ever need to question that? He's a most gracious and excellent leader. If not for him, this neighborhood wouldn't exist. He's the one who made it possible for us to live here. That's what we all told him. I can't help wondering if he's okay though. I'm sure he's fine. He's out with Millie tonight. There's a chance our paths might cross. This is a lovely night, isn't it, James? It certainly is, my dear wife. It was a great idea to come out tonight. I'm glad you feel that way. That was the idea in the first place. Darren and Adam are also out on the town tonight. We might run into them. Maybe. I hope Lily isn't being naughty tonight. Chloe's in charge, and might not know what to do if... I'm sure she'll be fine. Chloe's tough but fair. She'll know what to do. Don't worry about it. I can't help worrying about it. Lily usually behaves really badly for the babysitters. Seriously, sweetheart. Don't worry. Chloe just texted me to say Lily's being a little sweetie, helping instead of causing trouble. Thank goodness for that.